All right, we are live. So this is actually a really short lecture to address a question in the previous lecture, part three on frequency analysis. And it basically comes down to a trick I played and it was just to make my life easier, but I might as well show you. So if we have a closed loop transfer function, so GC over one plus GC, and I'm gonna simplify this out and I'm gonna take G and C and I'm just gonna call that L of S. So that's kind of a loop transfer function. So that's kind of the G and C. That's the part in the loop, remember, when we're calculating closed loop transfer functions. And so I can write this as L of S over one plus L of S. Uh, so now let's imagine we wanna calculate the zeros and poles for this transfer function. So I'm gonna write, so L of S, typically these transfer functions are basically a fraction of two polynomials. So we'll have a numerator polynomial that I'll denote N of S and a denominator polynomial that I'll denote uh, D of S, and again, these are both polynomials, right? So I got polynomial. Just pull that over. And so if I take L of S over 1 plus L of S, that's just N over D all over 1 plus N over D. And then I can simplify this down. So I multiply top and bottom by D, and I get this is equal to N over D plus N. So again, these are polynomials. So this might be, you know, like a K, and this might be a tau S plus one and a K. It can all change depending on the system, but basically this is the form where, again, that's a numerator polynomial, the denominator polynomial, and here's what the closed loop transfer function looks like. And so if we want to calculate the poles, basically we're solving for S, D of S plus N of S is equal to zero. And likewise, for the zeros, we're just solving n of s is equal to zero. All right. So let's imagine uh, I have, again, this closed loop loop transfer, fu closed loop transfer function, where in terms of the loop transfer function, L of s. If I want to do stability, my claim is, and that's what I did in the lecture previously, is I looked at simply the equation. I just basically took the denominator and I set that equal to zero. And basically to get the poles to look at the stability, we're just solving this equation for S. Now, of course, L of S is typically a fraction, right? So it's known as a rational function. So a rational function is a function of kind of a fraction of polynomials. And so we have N of S over D of S. And then when I plug this in, one plus L of S equal to zero, this just simply becomes D of S plus N of S is equal to zero or n of s plus d is equal to zero. And that's the same equation we used before for the poles. And so again, if I have gc over one plus gc, that means I'm just simply to determine the stability of this equation, I'm just simply solving the equation one plus g of s, c of s is equal to zero. And that's what I did in the lecture. And hopefully this will be clear why you can just simplify, you know, trying to find the roots of the denominator polynomial down to just solving this equation. So if you have any questions, uh, again, just post comments in the discussion or in the comments, or post questions in the comment section, I'll try to answer it. Uh, and hopefully this video answered your question regarding kind of using this equation to look at stability. All right, stay safe, guys.